Right then, good afternoon as we head into US trade on Wednesday the 12th of July. Um, we're we'll still looking at the market and see what's going on. I'm not going to cover too much about what went on this morning as markets do lie and wait for the highly anticipated US inflation prints uh, today at 1.30. Now, we'll have a look towards these, but if we just have a look at how markets have been trading in the lead up to this, we can see pretty broad based US dollar weakness in the lead up to this event. Now, we can see the Kiwi dollar has pulled back now and the RBNZ did pause their hiking cycle again this morning did say that uh, policy was a, a sufficiently restrictive level and it will continue on it that way for a while so conclusion of their hiking cycle is what they suggested this morning at their at the meeting so that is a reason for for kiwi dollar downside in the aftermath so i'm going to leave this out really as we've kind of been approaching a central bank announcement from them as well we can see you know, aussie dollar you know cruising higher which is us dollar weakness you can see euro dollar you can see cable um about all cruising to the top side you can see dollar swiss you can see dollar yen you can see dollar cad and the dollar index all trending lower in the lead up to this release now look at how equities have been positioning themselves get rid of this this sorry and now we can see equities positioning themselves higher as well the FTSE gone through the roof this morning off banks passing stress tests which is a positive for the FTSE obviously it's 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 heavily heavily uh, heavily influenced by by the banking sector in the UK so definitely some positivity for the FTSE today but you can see the S&P the Dow the Nasdaq and the Russell all cruising higher into this you can see the DAX cruising higher into this the FTSE global stock indexes apart from the Nikkei all cruising higher into this release so the fact that we've got broad based US dollar weakness broad based equity strength would suggest to me that markets are anticipating a, a, a weak CPI print whether it's weak or whether it's in line with consensus is probably what they are expecting now you can come into this and you can have a look at 10 year yields the 10s and the 2s continue to push lower somewhat stalled over the last kind of day or two but you can see the sentiment back from from kind of monday into tuesday into wednesday it is lower you can see this as well from friday but then into monday tuesday and wednesday it is lower on the week in terms of the tens and two year yields right so in terms of what that means then going forward into this release right we've got inflation cooling down we've got inflation trending lower which is fine right we can see the inflation rate the cpi print year over year continuing to trend lower and you can see the the cpi print the month over month remaining somewhat sticky 0.1 we're expected to stick up to 0.3 which is, is is certainly interesting when it comes to the monthly figure come around to the core cpi print had a bit of a pop up in March, but then we've trended back lower down from 5.5 to 5.3. We're expected to come down to 5% in that as well. So that continues to trend lower. Core inflation expected at 0.3%. Expected to pull back from this high at 0.4% in, in terms of the core CPI rate for the month of June. Right, and that would paint the picture of inflation continuing to come down. Right, not not disinflation, but inflation coming down. Inflation not rising the way it had been previously. Right now what do we expect then coming out of this or how do we take some trades or where are there tradable opportunities when it comes to this right think about the two the two scenarios you either get or the three scenarios you either get a miss on consensus it either comes in as consensus or you get a beat on consensus there's only three options right now if we get a miss on consensus so we come back to here and have a look at 92.4 percent here right what this is is it's uh, cme's fed watch tool so this is target rate probabilities for their next meetings right so there's a 92.4 percent chance of a 25 basis point hike so it's 92.4.4 percent priced in so this is heavily priced in by markets for their next meeting now if you get a miss on consensus here that will probably require markets to well, that will probably drive markets to price out some of this interest rate hike and then have a bit more of 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 confidence that the fed may not actually hike interest rates at the next meeting they have suggested they will they have suggested further 50 basis points hike basis point hikes of uh, over the rest of this year but the fed does listen to the markets right the fed does listen to the markets historically it has done and if we get a miss on consensus and inflation continues to come down at a more rapid pace than markets thought probably will cause some pricing out of this 25 basis point hike which is likely to be positive for stocks negative for the dollar negative for yields so positive for bonds right now if we come in in line with consensus and markets continue to push lower at the rate that is expected 
I'm not sure that changes too much with this. You might get a little bit priced out, but you're certainly not going to get more priced in as markets will hope for this to cool down. The Fed will see it's cooling down and the path that they have taken or the interest rates that they have done will is causing inflation to continue on the path lower and that is that is you know positive development there's still a long way of work to get done to two percent but they will want to avoid avoid crippling the economy in terms of interest rate hikes and if interest rate hikes are having the desired effect no need to really alter monetary policy too much now i think where the big move comes from is a beat on inflation right? a strong beat on inflation right that's i think where the strong move comes from right now in terms of if you get a strong beat, well, this goes up to 92.4%, but then the September figure comes into, into play, right? There's a 74% chance, a 73.7% chance of no hike in September, 20% chance of a of a hike, and a 5.9% chance of markets not being hiked until then, right? Or, you know, markets or interest rates being the same as what they currently are at this present day, right? A beat on inflation should cause this to tick higher. Fears of a rate hike at their next meeting plus another rate hike at their September meeting. That will cause some downside in stocks, upside in the dollar, upside in yields, downside in bonds. And I think that's where we get the best move from. So on a personal level, I'm going to hope for some higher than expected inflation figures in order to get that move. You can see the way markets have traded into it. It's weak dollars, long stocks, right? If markets begin to price in two back-to-back -back interest rate hikes from the Fed, that is what causes the biggest move here. Now, is this a 0.1% beat really cause that? I think you're going to look for something like a 0.2, 0.3% beat. That's probably what you're going to have to look for on either of these. You want this total CPI print consensus. You probably want this up at 0.5 probably to get that sort of a move. You probably want the you know the the you know, the, the, the headline figure probably 3.5%, the core CPI print maybe not pushing lower and beating consensus up to 5.3% and the core CPI print maybe up 0.6%, 0.5, 0.6%. That would cause some big moves or should cause some big moves and some solid risk off trading. The other way might be a little bit tricky. I think you're probably going to want either a big beat or a big miss in order to get some tradable opportunities uh, you know a, a decent sized miss will be pro risk positive for risk that should cause some moves as equity markets seem to want to continue pushing higher anything in between that i think may be best to leave to the algos but we'll keep an eye on it at 1 30 we've got an hour to prepare we'll see how markets react to that at 1 30 well yeah as i said big beat or a big miss probably where we get the moves a big beat on inflation probably where we get the biggest moves but we'll have to keep an eye on this to see what markets feel or how markets decide about interest rates going forward but all eyes us cpi at 130 main focus of attention for the week let's see if we can take some trades